Good morning vlog. Happy Tuesday. I just finished riding the bike, as you can assume. But figured I would check in and start a bit of a vlog. I'm gonna do a full week of my life. So Tuesday to Tuesday. Um, let's think about what's going on today. Um, obviously I just finished my bike ride. Might go to the gym, but grocery shopping. Um, nothing really for the rest of the week. Might try and make some plans with uh, Kayla um, and my sister. We'll see. Uh, Sunday is the Super Bowl, so we're gonna have some good stuff going on there. I think we're also gonna go suit shopping for Josh because he doesn't have a suit for our wedding yet and wanna get that out of the way. Um, what else? I think that's it. This week I might be starting an overnight schedule next week, so we'll see. Um, but my schedule is either changing to um, 5.30 to 2 or um, 8 to 4. 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. So we'll see how that ends up going. But for now, I'm gonna put some clothes on and drink some coffee. I'm sure you can hear the laundry going, but what's a vlog without laundry? But I have my coffee, my flavored water, and my regular water. So I am ready to go. I'm just punching in now to start work and Let's get this day going. It is 10.30. Um, I'm still working, obviously. Um, figured I would check in. I, my manager is in Utah, so she clocks in at 10 o'clock Eastern time, but it's 8 o'clock time. Anyway, just got word. I will be starting overnight shifts next week. So I'll be working 8 to 4.30. Um, if it can be, sometimes it'll be a little bit earlier. Um, but yeah, really, um, exciting stuff for me. Should be interesting to see how that goes, especially considering, like, I have to coach from, or practices are going to be from 2.30 to 4, I think. And then I don't start working until four hours after that point. And then, I don't know, it's going to be interesting. And then, like, a we're also getting married in May, so I'm gonna have to reverse my sleep schedule and then redo my sleep schedule. It's gonna be really interesting. I think I'm gonna to need to get some weed gummies or melatonin or something to put me out for the morning because it's gonna be hard at first, I think, too. Because right now I work 8 to 4, 30 p.m. And so I'm doing the exact opposite. That's gonna be interesting. So, but yeah, that starts um, next Monday, so six days from now. Or it also, it might start on Sunday, depending on which day they want me to carry over into. So like it might be Sunday to Monday and then I'll be done work for the week on Friday morning instead of being done work. Um, or the other way around, I might be done work Saturday morning. I don't know yet. Either way, it's gonna be interesting. So yeah, but that just got that news literally like 20 minutes ago. So I've been thinking about it. I don't even, I'm stressing a little bit, but you know, it's what has to happen for me to be able to coach. So you win some, you lose some. And I know what I'm winning or what I'm losing. I'm just living. <laughs> Maybe this Friday, I'll try and pull an all-nighter to, to get used to the opposite sleeping schedule. Hmm. We'll see. There's gonna be some planning in the works for sure. Ready? Yeah. Haircut. Oh. Hey. I cut Josh's hair because he's too lazy to do it himself. <laughs> he, this is what his hair looks like right now, actually. <laughs> All right. Josh just finished vacuuming up his hair. Haircut is done. So, accomplished something on my 15 minute break today. But now I'm back to work. I have real clothes on, everybody. Big deal. On a Tuesday. Woo! Just gonna go to the gym, but Josh wanted to come grocery shopping. So, we're grocery shopping. Yes. And whatever else we decide to do. Because yes. we're wasting time, apparently. It is 4.30, and I'm tired, but I'm trying to step late. So, we can do it. Or I can do it. I don't care what you do. Anything to say? Look at Plants at Lowe's, please. Look at the haircut. If we're gonna look at Plants at Lowe's, we should do that before we go grocery shopping. Exactly. 
That way the food doesn't sit in the car. Yeah. Actually, it's cold enough, so. <laughs> Take a refrigerator out here. I think this is the, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about fridges now. What you got there? Pints of purple. <laughs> Getting some eggs. It's a big grocery haul. She's pretty freighted. I don't think we've gotten this much in a long time. No, definitely not. Cat food. There they are. There they are. <laughs> weirdo here's the hall lots of meat pizzas <laughs> snackies it may not look like we have a lot of stuff for meals but trust me we got a lot of meals planned here yeah <gasps> nice haul saved saved 15 dollars with the hanford app get the hanford app people oh yeah Josh is gonna make us some tacos. You know oh, it. zoomed in right on your head. That's funny. Uh, surprisingly red compared to the last one. Okay, we don't need to talk about them. But Josh making tacos. I'm gonna end the vlog off here for the night. See you guys tomorrow. Mm. Wow, look at this new hoodie. Yeah, really mm. nice. A little soft. Mm. Repping, can am. I mean, come on. Get your guy that makes you tacos on Tuesdays. Working now. Have some laundry hanging. I moved my dry eucalyptus in here because it kept making noises. Like when the cat would brush past it, it it's kind of loud because it's dry. But hello, look, it's the next day, checking in, working out, like I mentioned. Um, I have been like kind of spiraling for the past day since I now know I'm gonna be working overnights. I'm trying to like plan my life about how it's gonna work. And so I took this Friday off so I can kind of get myself in the sleep schedule, but I think I'm gonna have to stay up for 24 hours tomorrow because it's like, I wanna stay up and like start my new routine for Friday, that way Saturday I can do it and then Sunday I can do it. But I'm like, first off, what am I gonna do over the weekend when I'm not working, but I'm staying up until four in the morning? Like, what the fuck? And then I'm also like, it's just hard. I'm like, I don't know how this happened. I think like once I'm working, obviously, like it'll be easier to go into the routine of it all. But, and then I'm like, okay, on Saturdays I could like have a normal day but then I would have to get back into the routine for Sunday. I honestly, I just, I just don't know how I'm going to do it. Um, and I am spiraling at this point because I'm like trying to plan, but I think there's going to be like at least once a week, like a 24 hour day. If I like try to make Saturday a normal day. And like, what am I going to see my fiance? <laughs> I know it's only a few months, but I'm like, we get married in the middle of it too. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm hoping that if it's not great, I can message my manager and be like, hey, this is not working out and I need to switch, but Time will tell. I'm just gonna tell myself it's gonna work. I have four hours after a regular practice until I work so Josh and I can hang out then. I'll have a couple hours before, an hour in the morning with him. Like, it's gonna be fine. It really is. I'm just like, I guess we'll see. But anyway, figured I would check in. And now I'm gonna, I finished my book this morning too. Actually, I finished my book. Very good. Although it left on a cliffhanger and I know that I'm not gonna figure it out. Like who goes to jail? I don't know. But anyway, it was a good book. Would recommend. It was like 570 pages, but finally finished it. So I gotta find a new book now. That'll maybe that'll be one of the things that keep me up at, at night. Um, okay. Anyway, I'm rambling because that's how my brain is working. Beanie is all sleeping on the nice made bed. Have a lot of laundry to fold, but hello vlog. My prop you up. It is, um, what time is it? It's like 4.30, just finished work for the day. Um, yeah, nothing really exciting to report. Uh, volume picked back up a little bit today, so that's nice at least. Um, the past couple of days, I don't know why I folded it up. <laughs> um, the past couple of days, we haven't had a lot of volume in 
my team so I've been helping other teams which is basically what my other job was but um yeah so just kind of floating around but my team had some more volume today so it was nice to uh have some stuff to work on there but anyway figured I would check in while I'm folding the laundry um I'm less dressy spaghetti about um how everything's gonna work out um I think like realistically the first bit I'm gonna be tired but <laughs> what am I not tired um no but it's definitely gonna be like a little bit difficult to start the new schedule change but I think like after the first week or two like my I'm going to have to be sleeping at some point during the day and if I'm working overnight obviously I'm not gonna be sleeping then so like I, at least I'll have something to keep me awake overnight or like I was thinking about this weekend I'm like how am I supposed to stay up like when I'm not working but it's like I don't really have to stay up the whole time um I'm a sleepy gal so I'm sure I can make myself fall asleep um when like I'm not if I'm not working overnights or anything but anyway yeah so I'm excited for the schedule change I hope I'll have enough work to keep me busy through the overnights and should be interesting to say the least um and what's nice too is I'm starting it before the actual lacrosse season starts. Like now I'm gonna have time um, for like afternoon activities, um, but it'll be nice to like have a bit more downtime to get used to the schedule before lacrosse starts. And then once lacrosse starts, I'll definitely be like in the swing of things at least. So yeah, but as we can see, I just got a lot of laundry to be folded. Uh, some of the stuff was um from two loads ago and it's like the air dry stuff that takes a little bit longer of course um and then the rest is just regular old laundry and when you live in a place that gets to negative 16 you gotta have a lot of layers and last week it was like the coldest week on record for at least like a couple of decades i think but one day I think I mentioned it and it made me a log but it was like negative 15 with a real feel like negative 30 and like you can't just go outside like that like you can if you really want to like end your life or whatever but I'm pretty satisfied with my life right now and I want I want to stay alive so it's like all about the layers but I'm rambling and I like to repeat myself more for my own sake than anyone else's but okay let me finish folding this laundry and i'll check in at some point later all right laundry is all done now i'm gonna sit down just keep watching my youtube until it's time to make dinner so this is like mom move these clothes <laughs> editing the vlog hanging with the girls it's a, it's a good night this video is like very long it's like 96 minutes so hopefully i can cut it down a little bit huh? took off about uh 15 minutes from the video so we love that but gonna add music add what day it is and then i'm done and then i'm gonna go back to chilling it is almost six o'clock i don't know it's almost six o'clock so I'm gonna start dinner here soon too so perfect timing all right currently waiting for josh to respond to my text message about what we want for dinner but i've also decided i'm not going to the gym tonight because i'm trying to spend as much time with josh as possible so and i say this because my schedule's changing not because like of one of us is like i don't even know what i'm trying to explain here but I know we're gonna have time together once my schedule changes, but I really just wanna appreciate the time now, so. Uh, and if it's just an excuse, I don't care. I've been to the gym Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. No. I went to the gym Sunday, Monday this week, and my goal is to go four times a week, so I'll go Friday, Saturday, when I'm not working, um, and when Josh is at work, so I'm not missing any time spent together. Um, maybe I'll go Thursday night, but tonight I'm feeling sappy and emotional and like I wanna cuddle my best friend, so that's what I'm gonna do tonight, but. Yeah, it's uh, six o'clock, like I mentioned, so Josh should be heading home any minute now. Um, but my vlog is exporting over there. Um, also, I got a plant pole for my plant, which I think I mentioned, but it looks really, it looks so much better. Also, there's my gym bag just waiting for me to take it out. But you know what? It's just not the time right now. Um, well, maybe I'll change my mind when Josh gets home. But, you know, I have plenty of time to work out. And I don't feel like it. And I rode the bike for 45 minutes today. And, you know, I feel good about that, so... If I want to move, I will. If I don't, I won't. We'll see what I feel like after dinner. But for now, and it's six and Josh hasn't even left work yet. So we'll see how the schedule works out. But I'm not trying to eat dinner at 
eight o'clock when I get home, but I'm also not trying to have heavy dinner before the gym. So honestly, I'm just listing a bunch of things, but I'm not probably gonna go to the gym tonight. Probably will just go on Friday, Saturday and call that my four times this week. But anyway, I'm editing this clip down. Oh my God. Really luxury dinner tonight, making some egg salad. And I've decided officially, not gonna go to the gym tonight, but I'm gonna go tomorrow night, Friday and Saturday. So I will get five days in. So I love that for me, but we're having egg salad. Woohoo. I mean, this right here. I mean, tummy, like, egg salad is just so good. Heck yeah. Josh should be here in about five minutes. And it's only a little late. <laughs> I haven't checked in all day today, but I am working. Kind of been like a ping pong ball today, just kind of jumping all over the place. Um, I'm about to start a 15 minute break and then do some shadowing with a few people that are starting on a new workflow. And then um, I think that's really about it for my day. It's gonna be, um, an interesting day today. So I'm working until 4.30. Um, one of my girlfriends is gonna stop by on her way home from work since she works like literally 500 feet from my house. So she's gonna come over and we're gonna hang out for like 30 minutes. Uh, that's gonna be it because uh, she's getting her doorbell installed. So she has to be home. Um, and then what's going on after that? Let's see. So, um, even think I'm like what else is going on so uh Josh is possibly going out to dinner with his friend tonight so um if he doesn't I'll be going to the my regular gym tonight and then trying to pull like an almost all-nighter just to kind of get start initializing my uh, reverse sleep schedule um if he isn't or yeah, so if he isn't I'm gonna just do my regular like I'll make dinner go to the gym from like seven to eight at my normal gym and then stay up almost all night, just like playing video games maybe. Like, I don't know what's gonna keep me up, but we'll see. And then um, if he does end up going to dinner and he'll come home later, I'm gonna probably try and find like a 24 hour gym since my regular gym closes at 8.30. But just for today, I'll probably try and find like a 24 hour gym just to go into for my workout, which will also help like staying up later. And then same thing. But yeah, overall, today's pretty boring. I literally just haven't checked in because it has been such a boring time just doing tickets and of course like i'm not showing you exactly what i'm doing just because like there's information on here i can't share but for now anyway i figured i would check in and say hello for the day happy thursday um it's my friday i'm not working tomorrow which i think i mentioned already but Whew. i'm already tired and it's one so or it's two now oh my god i'm having a good day anyway Let's go back to focusing on work and then taking a break and then doing a training. Just doing it all today. All right. Hello vlog. I um, had my heated sweater on and it died and I'm sad now. But anyway, I got this massive box um, from, where is it? Rockville Audio. If you don't know already, even though I've mentioned it a thousand and twenty-seven times, um, we're having our wedding at our own house. Um, so I ordered a speaker system for the house, um, but it came with a free portable speaker, but like this box does not look portable, you know what I mean? Um, but anyway, this is the free gift of it. It feels fun to open a box, so I wonder if they needed this much. Oh my god. Dude, this is literally like, that can span my entire house, but anyway. Nice portable Bluetooth speaker. It's like as big as I am. But let's open it. Let's see what's going on. Miko, you have a new box. Isn't that so fun for you? But here, oh wow. Here is our free gift. Which like for a free add-on to an order, like this is pretty nice. So that's fun. Looks very sleek, black and simple. So love that. Anyway, I'm going to deal with all this packaging now but I mean like 
for something free like this is pretty quality so i love that and it has like straps that's funny you could like wear it as a bag like anyway we're gonna be going in a new box she's cleaning but yeah so this is the okay okay <laughs> anyway that's what this is oh with microphone you know a little karaoke on the go but anyway oh you're gonna climb in this box cool i'll show you guys next week when i get the other um speakers on if i'm vlogging but i'm gonna deal with like all of this shit <laughs>
this weekend. I'm like, I don't really know, but I'm gonna try. Have a little late light. I might stay up until like after driving Josh to work and then just going to bed at like 8 a.m. tomorrow, but then that means I'll be up for like, I don't know, like almost 30 hours. So probably don't wanna do that, but we'll see. You know, it, I'm taking you along with me, we'll find out, but I'm gonna keep bopping along to carry. All right, last step before heading inside. I'm gonna plug in the car. Oh wow, the button worked on the first time. Da ding Woo! Time to shower. Coconut in the hall. I have decided I'm having like an almost average night tonight. I'm probably gonna stay up a little bit late, like maybe 11, 12. Um, but then maybe take a nap tomorrow and stay late again Saturday and then take a nap on Sunday. Um, I just realized like I'm not gonna be able to get into this routine until I really need to and Friday and Saturday like I don't need to be in the routine so it's gonna be hard for me to do so so I'm just gonna like suffer through being tired on Sunday Monday but it'll be good I'm gonna figure it out but I'm making popcorn now so I'm gonna enjoy that and hang out with Josh see you tomorrow we're driving Josh to work Woo! work 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 you can't tell but it's light outside and it's 6 30 in the morning and this doesn't happen so big day I know oh that's foggy what yeah. froggy and wet all right it is 7 10 and instead of going home, I figured I would get my errands done all this morning. So I'm at Walmart now just because they're, they're just what is open. Um, but really waiting for Target to open at eight. Um, have a couple things on my list. Gonna try and get some sleep gummies just so like for additional assistance. Um, earplugs so I can sleep during the day because I live on a drag strip and it gets loud. Um, kind of... I think I need a lamp for the office because, and like, could I order from Wayfair and use my employee discount? Absolutely. But I didn't think about it until yesterday when I'm like, my office is very dark even with one the one lamp on. So I'm probably gonna try and find a lamp. A um, couple of other things, but let's get into this Walmart. I've never been to a Walmart at seven o'clock on a Friday morning, so it should be interesting to say the least, but let's go. Stop moving. Anytime. All right, so I actually got most everything from Walmart unexpectedly. Um, now I'm just gonna go home. The only other thing I kind of wanted to get was like a new book or something, but that's more of like a thrift store vibe. But for now, I'm gonna go home. And last night I stayed up until 11 and woke up around like four. So I'm like training myself to get less sleep that way, like by Sunday when I need to work overnight, I'll be less exhausted, still exhausted, but just less so. But anyway, I think I'm gonna head home now because I got most everything off my list and I don't really need, the other things were like nice to have, it's not need to have. So I'll give you a haul when we get back, but for now, let's go home. All right, well, let's do a bit of a haul. So like I mentioned, I got everything I needed from Walmart. There's definitely some stuff I still kind of like nice to have, like I mentioned, but definitely don't need. But first thing, obviously, is this huge ass lamp. It's a very big ass lamp. So I'm either gonna put this one in the office or I'm gonna swap out the light we have in the corner and put this there and then a different, um, and then put that light in my office. We'll kind of see, play along with that later today. Um, got a 12 pack of Monster because I'm gonna be needing that. You know, it's just, it's what it is. I've come to accept, I'm gonna be a tired girl for a bit. All right, and then, this is not on my list, but I needed them, so what are you gonna do? Um, five face cloths, they're really, really soft too, so I'm gonna wash these, um, but just, or no, there's seven? Yeah, so one for each day of the week, because. Recently, I've been just using the same face towel, which I know is like really bad because like if I'm cleaning my face and then drying it with a dirty towel, like there's no point in cleaning your face. But anyway, so I got seven of those. Got new toothbrush heads because 
I just needed a new toothbrush head because mine is getting kind of dingy. Um, a light bulb for the lamp. Um, another energy drink because this flavor is just really good. And then for the really fun stuff, we have earplugs. Yee-hee. I've never used earplugs before, so we'll see how that goes. And then the last two things are just these different sleep gummies. So I've heard a lot of good things about Ollie. They're like gummies in general, but I've heard a lot of good things about their sleep gummies specifically. So I got the regular one just to see how it goes. And then I also got the extra strength. So I'm gonna try some of these in the coming days and I'll let you know if they work or anything like that. But there's the haul. So now I think I'm gonna go to the gym and then I'm gonna come back and deal with all of this. And then I'm gonna take a nap later. It's gonna be good. I, I don't really know how I'm gonna be. We're gonna see, but actually this lamp is very, very cute. So I'm excited about that at least. <laughs> I lied. I decided that I want to set up this lamp because I'm pretty excited about it. So I'm going to set up the lamp and then I'm going to go to the gym and then do the rest of my day stuff. So let's time lapse this and let's make a lamp. I for sure made that way harder than it needed to be, but it's all done. So now I'm just gonna put the shade on and now officially I'm gonna go to the gym. Good morning. <laughs> so you can't tell from my um, face. I just took a nap and it was a great nap. So big fan. Also the earplugs worked incredibly. I'm a big fan. Um, anyway, I'm gonna make the bed now. I eat some lunch. Maybe that app didn't work. So as we can see, I'm doing something in the office, but laundry's going now. I'm in here. Um, I'm thinking, this is gonna sound kind of silly, but I'm thinking about buying a chair to go in here. Um, so this is just the dimensions of the chair. It seems like the dimensions might be a bit wide just cause this looks really wide for a chair, but basically I've moved these over a bit, put the chair over there and then it would be like a whole vibe in here. But then also Josh will have somewhere to hang out with me while I work overnight. Seems like a little rash to like get something that is only gonna be for like a little bit, but I also think like it's important to just embrace it. And also it'll be nice to have a chair in here. Uh, as for the bike, I understand like, would it be better in the basement? Absolutely, but am I going to walk through the cold garage to get into the cold basement to bike every day? No. So I'm keeping it in here for now, but we'll kind of see how it goes, but yeah. Anyway, in here we have wedding invitations that aren't being sent out to the end of this month. My monster, which I have to find somewhere to put. And then the speaker that came yesterday as a free gift. But basically I am just gonna be doing this stuff. I'm gonna put these away. And actually I'm gonna bring the lamp in here too. I think the lamp's gonna go here or maybe back behind the desk. Let's figure this out. This is whatever, you know that. But I think this is where I'm gonna keep the lamp. I don't know which way I'm gonna face it yet, whether it's gonna be out or in, but it's on the brightest setting and I guess I can pull this down to see how dark it'll be. I think that'll be good and then turn this on. All right, it's still very dark in here. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I definitely need a light over here or something because I guess I could put this light over there, but then this corner will be dark, but it doesn't matter because I work here. All right, let's, let's move this again one more time. Okay, we'll see how this goes on Sunday night, but I think this is gonna be a good setup. And then if we get the chair in here too. Oh, Miss Coco, she likes it anyway. But I think this is good because then it lights up like the entire room. And if it's not like wicked bright, like I like working in the dark anyway, but I think that'll work out just fine. I do kind of feel like a frat boy having all these lined up in there, but it also is very satisfying. So that's great. Um, this red thing is to loose like Stileon. Miko's hanging out. I don't know what she's gonna do because I took my chair out of here. Cause I just don't use it. So I might put it in Josh's office, might put it on Facebook or for like 10 bucks, just be like, someone take this away. Um, but I just, I literally never sit down when I work. 
Um, and especially like doing the overnight thing, I think it would be better if I don't sit down because then what I'm like, what if I fall asleep? <laughs> But I think it's fine. But yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'm just gonna keep contemplating this. I think I'm gonna do it because I'm like, why the fuck not? Besides the fact yeah. that I really don't want to spend a couple hundred dollars on a chair, but I'm also like, it would be worth it. And I don't know if I want the bike in here too. Ugh, I need to make freaking decisions here. But <sighs> the cons of having um, two bedrooms when you really want three in your house. Also, this is technically a bedroom, but like, it's definitely not big enough to be a bedroom. So I call it a two bedroom house, one office. <laughs> Um, but it's technically three bedrooms, but this room is just so small. It's definitely not bedroom size. But anyway, all that to say, I gotta figure out what I wanna do. But I'm gonna keep hanging out, probably take another nap. Got time? Time will tell. I'm freaking free balling today. So I did order the chair for the office, and worst case scenario, if it doesn't work out, Wayfair has good return policies, and I use my polite discount, so I got a couple hundred off, honestly. So, like, big fan. Um, but anyway. Let's move this lamp. It's a lot taller than I expected, most because I didn't even read how tall it was, but I think it'll look good over the plant and be like more of this vibe out here instead of like so modern like the other lamp was, but let's move this and actually it's gonna be pretty easy. And this one is like freaking heavy. It's like very solid base, which is nice. And yes, I could have gotten this on Wayfair, but I didn't want to do that um let's plug in there we go gotta figure out the cord situation here let's oh yeah it looks like it's a plant light or something but i think that's cute i think that looks really good actually so i'm gonna leave that there and go back to just hanging out on the couch for now just chilling also, it looks like I'm blocked in. The electric company has been in here for two days in a row now. I don't even know what they're doing. I think they're doing something with the power lines, but um, it is, what time is it? It's 3.20. Uh, I don't need to pick Josh up until six, but I kind of want to go out. Um, I officially have canned my aloe plant. It was, it's been on its last leg for a while and it's just like, it was becoming unruly, you know? So canned it. So now I'm like, I know I just went plant shopping and I didn't get a plant, but now I'm like, I think I need a plant for the bathroom. Um, oh, good. They just moved further into the driveway. Um, so I'm going to leave a little earlier, but I'm like, I don't know how long these people are going to be full blown, like parked in front of my driveway. Like I can't even fit a car through there. Oh, they're picking up the cones. So maybe they're leaving now. I have no idea. Also like owning a house is so weird. Like you would think that the town would be like, Hey, or at least like the fucking people in the truck would be like, Hey, here's what we're doing. Don't mind us. But instead, it's three o'clock and I look outside and there's grown men just in my driveway. Whatever, at least uh, the door is locked and they don't, it looks like no one's home. But uh, anyway, I'm hanging out. I'm just chilling. Um, oh, they just keep walking. Like, what is going on? Guys, someone lives here. Anyway, I'm going to keep chilling. I'll check in if and when I leave. The well, I have to leave the house eventually, but I'll check in when I do leave. All right, currently driving. Finally left the house on my way to Lowe's just to see if we have any good plant babies that I can adopt into my life. Um, and then to pick up Josh. Uh, this weekend we're doing date weekend because who knows what life is gonna be like once I go on the reverse schedule, um, which I know like this entire vlog has become all about that, but whatever. Uh, so we wanna do date weekend this weekend. So I don't know if we're gonna go out tonight for dinner or out tomorrow night. Um, either way, I'm driving now and look, it's fucking 47 degrees. Literally this time last weekend, it was negative 15 with a real feel of negative 32. And now it's 50. It's like almost like, I don't know, like 80 degrees difference from what it was last weekend. Maybe more. Like I can't do fucking math right now, but like, holy shit. It's warm today. <laughs> Who would have thought? And it's literally February and it's 50. And last weekend it was negative 32. I just... I love it here. It's great. Anyway, I will see you guys at Lowe's. Also, do you guys use your blinkers both ways when you go into a circle? Or do you only use it once? I know the proper way is to do it twice, so I do it twice, but I'm curious. But anyway, I'm driving. Let's get a new plan. Beautiful almost sunset. 
I may or may not have gone buck wild at the plants, but you know, like when you go to the grocery store and they're restocking everything. So like, you know, everything's going to be good. That's how the plants were. Okay. I didn't have a choice. They were restocking all of them. I had to do what I had to do. So one of the plants I did get on sale. So hopefully I can kind of revive him back to life. Cause there's a reason why they're on sale in the clearance. Um, and then just a neon pothos, really small guy and a classic spider plant because I did get one before as like a gift, you know, as you should, because spider plants just like regenerate little baby plants all the time, but it died to me. So I was like, you know, might as well get a big daddy. So there they are in the back, but now it is 450. I think I'm going to drive over and just wait in the parking lot at Josh's work until he's done, which I'll be sitting there for like half an hour. So I'm like, do I run to Target and get a new book? No, I think I'm just going to go and sit in the parking lot because this was my fault for leaving too early and finding things too quickly at the store. So anyway, I'm going to bop around. Maybe I'll go the long way. We'll see. It's vlog time. Yeah. It's dark. Hey, Josh. Now we're going home. Put the precious cargo in the back. Don't forget it. Cargo. You could have put the flash on. That would have helped, I guess. Whatever. Okay. We're early, too. That's because 16. I... <laughs> yeah, way too long. Yeah, well, at least I know the people, so I can see them. True, true. All right, this road is too bumpy for filming. Goodbye. Well, flash photography. Look at that cheese stick. It's funny, from this angle, it looks like it's only American cheese. Yeah, it's two cheeses. Um, this is my dinner that. because Josh didn't eat all his lunch, so now we're having leftovers, but there's Josh's. One piece of broccoli. There's mine. <laughs> nice wrap. Some Coke. Anything to say for the fans? I'm blind. Okay. Gotta show the bathroom set up, so... It's big Josh's dirty clothes out here, but have the towel jar and the plant. Looks like a little hotel vibe. But anyway, that's gonna be it for tonight. I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna have another late night. Hopefully stay up to like midnight-ish, maybe later. We'll see. But also just do my skincare. So nice and oiled. I don't know why I did. <laughs> let's go to bed. No. Let's stay up late. Watching some YouTube, but just paused it because I'm gonna start making some dips. Also, Hello vlog, it is noon, I think, yeah. I haven't picked up the vlog yet today because everything has just been the same as like most every other day. I drove Josh to work this morning, went to the gym, walked on the treadmill, uh, ran out to the store. I actually got some non-alcoholic beers and wine. Um, it's date weekend, normally Josh and I split a bottle of wine um, just to like enjoy our little date night. But this time I wanted to do a non-alcoholic version. I'm making dips, so starting that now. Okay, girl. I started this one yesterday, excuse me. But I wanted to leave some stuff to do today. So this is just cream cheese, salsa, cheese, and jalapenos on one side. I'm gonna add more cheese to this. And then I'm gonna do a buffalo chicken dip. So I made this chicken the other day. Just gotta shred it, have all the ingredients here. I'm pretty sure I made this in a vlog pretty recently because the winter it's just like dip season you know so i'm not i'm just gonna fast forward through all of this but figured i would say hello i was gonna say good morning but it's it's literally afternoon at this point but hi welcome back to another day ah i'm officially going to pull it all nighter tonight just to prep for tomorrow my first overnight shift is tomorrow i don't know how to feel i'm many emotions but anyway i'm going to get going on these dips you know it's serious when the rings come off, the apron goes on and the hair goes up. So, let's. Shred. Oh my God, so much noise. Let's shred some chicken. As of oven preheating and laundry going in the back, just like the normal weekend things. But this chicken, you saw in this vlog I made the other day. I just seasoned it with salt and pepper, a little bit of flavor, but for the dip itself, once this is shredded, I'm gonna use a block of cream cheese, um, maybe like half of this sour cream, a shit ton of just mixed shredded cheese. Um, and then we have Sweet Baby Ray's buffalo sauce. And what really is, what really makes the buffalo chicken dip is ranch seasoning. So gotta add a lot of that in. Whoa. Um, if you haven't, if you made buffalo chicken dip but you haven't done it with the ranch seasoning, it like, it's a game changer. Um, yeah, I'm gonna shred this. Also for the other dip that I just showed you, I'm gonna add more cheese to it um, and then bake it again since it's not fully baked through. 
But that dip is good cold or warm. So I'm like, Maggie just had the cheese tomorrow when we end up eating it. But yeah, I am shredding this chicken. All right, got the foundation here. So all the chicken shredded have the block of cream cheese, some sour cream, some buffalo sauce. Now, creme de la creme. This is really what does it for the buffalo chicken mix. Gonna add a lot of that. And then once this is mixed, I'm gonna use that cheese, add that in there, and then also add it on top. But for now, I'm gonna go in here with my bare hands because there's no way to mix this with an actual spoon or something. And Miko's very interested in the chicken. <laughs> Try ignore the sink going because I have to wash my, the bowl and stuff, but here is the dip before adding cheese. It's like very, so very creamy this time around. I think the cream cheese to chicken ratio was a lot better than I normally do it. But anyway, going to add some cheese on top and then put these in the oven. I'm uh, not gonna cook them all the way because they're gonna have to be reheated on Sunday and everything, but there's that, and then also added cheese and another jalapeno, just so we know what side is what. But yeah, that's it for now. I'm gonna go back to doing dishes, I'm gonna watch my YouTube, and I'm gonna sit back on the couch. Like I mentioned, it's like 12.15 now. And like, that's how easy the dip is, right? Um, and now I have to turn this off because it's annoying me. But I'm going to cook these, do the dishes, all that stuff, and then sit down. I'm gonna try and take a nap because I'm trying to do the all-nighter tonight. So wish me luck. Right. While it's in the oven, actually, I am going to water my plants. If you don't have one of these, it's a moisture meter. Um, this one is always really dry. But they like to be dry, a little succulent. But anyway, if you don't have one of these moisture meters, it's like the greatest thing. I used to just like stick my finger in the dirt. And I'm in this like every video because it's just like so great and so easy. Oh, they wet. I watered this one a little bit ago. And look at this new leaf coming in. Yeah. I did, did just water my plants last week, so a lot of them won't need water because it's winter and they don't really get thirsty. It's really interesting too, like when you put it in, you can kind of tell where the root is, because like right here it's pretty dry, but then if I stick it in closer, not like into the plant, obviously. You can also tell like it gets a little more wet. Anyway, these things are great, really, really easy. So I'm just gonna stick on my plants with this. So far only that would really need some water. Also, I rearranged some of my plants around too. Okay. Rearranged some of my plants because, I don't know, it just felt like it was good. Also this lamp, love it. It, gave, it gives off a lot more light than the other one did. Need to water that. Um, so I like it a lot. Very dry. I'm just gonna grab this one up. Put into the sink. Um, as you guys know too, I do have a watering can, but that's mostly for summer because all my plants run different watering schedules in the winter just because it's so like, it is really dry, but the plants also don't need as much water in the winter because it's not growing season or anything. But anyway, I'm gonna keep pricking my plants and look at this big daddy. So healthy and giving off little babies already. I can't even get to the dirt on this one. Oh, they really watered this guy. Great. And this one's usually dry too. Yep. All right, got a lot of water to do, so I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna sit on the couch. I haven't taken that plant off his spot in so long. It is just crazy how long this plant has gone. Like, um, I'm like across the entire kitchen. That's crazy. I, he definitely needs a haircut, but I'm just like, like some of these you can tell like where there's no growth for like years and then it comes in like these guys really need to be cut down. So I just, I like him being long. But I also want them to be healthy. It's a hard decision. Like, this is not doing well. Anyway, I'm gonna think about giving it a haircut. Maybe cut down just a couple of leaves so like more energy can go to like go giving it to the good ones. But anyway, those are all the plants I have to water today. So pretty simple. I'm just gonna do it right in the sink, which is nice and simple. And yeah. Plants are happy post bath. I did end up trimming down some of the long strings and I'm gonna try and propagate. My propagations never work out, but you know what? I'm lucky things work out for me. This is gonna work out for me, okay? But 
also water this guy, everything. Got a nice drink, well not everything, but these dips looking so good. I just broiled them for like 10 minutes and then we'll do it again on game day, but awesome. I'm gonna cover these up or take them out, cover them up, put them in the fridge and oh, listen to this sizzle. Nice. Share my monthly Watch it some YouTube. Month. Got the bean this snuggles. Is Life is good. Life is good, huh, beanie? Essentially, you get the rent, oh. six pieces a month, and then you can also Just got up from that. I can't tell from the corner over there, but like, look how cozy this is. Also, let me prop you down. Look at this sweater. I don't know why I love this sweater so much, but I got it thrifting, and I I'm like, the tractor, the yellow, like, I don't know, and it's like wicked soft for being like from thrift store, to be honest. I'm like, hello, this is the best freaking thing ever. So Josh and I are going out for our date weekend tonight and I'm debating wearing this or um, like a black and white and yellow flannel. But I'm just like, come on, <laughs> I love this. But anyway, I have to leave here soon. So I will check in on the road. from dinner watching the blacklist gonna try some non-alcoholic rosé are you naughty that's okay. what it says so you have to answer no It is already 56 minutes. Granted, I haven't edited it, edited it or anything, but this vlog is already an hour long and I was gonna plan to take this into Tuesday, so I'll probably just take this into Monday morning at this point now. Um, but yeah, it is literally 10, 20, and um, I have my Celsius I'm enjoying. and like, uh, such a happy plant mom. But yeah, I just uploaded the videos. I don't think I'm gonna edit them right now. That might be like a, midnight one o'clock two o'clock thing but for now i'm gonna keep watching my youtube because that's keeping me up enough and uh i'll check in later or i'll go to sleep and i'll check in tomorrow hey girl like, Good morning vlog, just made the bed. It is just about, can we even see that? No, great. It is just about 9.45, getting up for the day. I made it, oh, 9.36 is the time. But anyway, good morning. Obviously it looks the same as it did last night. A little less shiny probably because my <laughs> moisturizers and stuff have dried. But hello, good morning it is the next day. I am awake. Got a nice solid like five and a half, six hours of sleep, which you may be like, that's not a lot, but that for me, that's a pretty decent amount actually, um, which is nice. So yeah, I went to bed at like 3.15. So I probably fell asleep like really soon after that. But, yeah, anyway, hello. I'm gonna not have coffee until later this afternoon, but I think I'm just gonna clean up the house a little bit and read my book. This is what I'm reading right now, but on Judy Picoult kick, um, basically, I, as much as I like to get new, brand new books, it's just like, I don't want to spend $16 on a book when I can go to the thrift store and find one that I haven't even like heard of for like $2. So like this book, this Badler, $2 book, great find, you know? So anyway, I'm gonna just kind of chill around this morning. Um, probably put some real clothes on later. Um, I'm, I feel like I'm probably gonna get dressed more now that I work overnight just to like feel like a human being, but we'll kind of see about that. But yeah good morning hello let's get on with this sunday Alrighty. hello vlog decided instead of chilling and reading my book right now i'm gonna ride the bike and read my book 
feeling pretty good this morning. I was kind of worried that I was going to be tired, but honestly, I'm doing okay. We'll see how the first shift goes today, but if nothing else, I, I'm just hoping to be busy. some incense going, the dryer's going, washing some blankets. It is noon. I'm feeling good. Ready for today. Hello vlog. Haven't really checked in a lot today. Um, all I've done was ride the bike. Um, I put some hair oil in so my hair looks disgusting, but whatever. Um, kind of just relaxing. I'm having my first cup of coffee of the day reading my book, hanging with the girlies. You can't see the other one, but she's over there too. Um, it looks really sunny out, but it is chilly. But anyway, I figured I would just pop in now and say, hello, I am a little tired, but I'm usually tired. So it's nothing new. Um, Josh's friend should be coming over soon. I'm just waiting because all I really want to eat right now is dip, but I'm not gonna eat the dip if the football's not on, you know? But anyway. Oh, also, yes, I am wearing the same sweater I wore yesterday, but I wore it for like an hour yesterday and I want to wear it again today. And the pink pants really bring out the pink in the top. So just let me look. In. in celebration of our country, performing a Hello, vlog. We have football going. I'm working. This is how it goes. I'm already on. It is 12.15 in the morning. I obviously just showered. Um, I was originally planning on going to the gym right when I get out of work because I'll finish work at 4.30. My gym opens at five, so it's like a perfect timeline. But I'm trying to be flexible with myself, at least to start. And since this is like my first actual shift doing the whole overnight thing, I'm not trying to push it. So I'm actually gonna go to the gym in the afternoon today. Um, I think Josh and I are either going suit shopping today or tomorrow too, so we'll figure that one out. But yeah, um, so I showered because I decided I wasn't gonna go to the gym. Oh, hey girl. Um, and yeah, I have about four hours left to work. So I'm gonna hang out. I'm also trying not to do an energy drink just because I know it'll, well granted I know it'll get me through the shift, but I'm like, if there's enough work to do, then I probably um, won't need it. Cause like if there wasn't a lot of work and I was like dozing, I guess, and who knows? But anyway, yeah, I am just rambling now because it's past midnight and I'm tired. <laughs> but yes, I'm on a break, so I'm gonna sit down and chill for like another ten minutes. Also, I'm very excited for the chair to come in, so Josh and I can hang out together while I work. <laughs> Things like this make it hard. 
Hello. It is about 2.30. Um, I'm hitting a slump. I have an hour and a half left and um, my hips are hurting. I want to sleep. I think it's also because like, I know Josh is in bed. So like, I want to go to bed and Pelusis is being cuddly and things are being slow. So I'm just like, ugh. I'm glad I showered though and decided not to go to the gym in the morning because I'm just gonna like cr literally crawl my way over to the bed. But anyway, I'm losing energy fast and I'm re I don't, okay, girl, I don't want, I don't think I really want to do an energy drink right now because that means I'll be up later than I actually want to be, but so I'm just gonna, you know, push it, muscle through. <laughs> And it's freezing. Oh, God. <sighs> on a 15 minute break, and I'm sitting on the floor reading the book. It is about three, I think. Yep. <gasps> Holy shit. Three to five. One hour to go. I can do this. <laughs> And this is just day one. This is my life now. It's only gonna get easier. Just finished up a 45 minute leg day at the gym. Um, I was gonna walk on the treadmill after, but I convinced Josh that we should go on a walk. I mean, it's pretty nice though. It's 40 degrees, so if we get some layers, we can go on like, we have a couple loops that we like to do. So I think I'm gonna try and convince him to do that. Um, we also have the track that's by our house, but school's in session right now, so I don't think we're gonna do that. But yeah, I think we're gonna go on a little nice little walk this morning and I'm doing okay. Um, although the first thing that happened when I got into the gym is the lady at work and said, you look tired. So, you know, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that information, but I'm like, well, that's because I started overnights, but thank you for your opinion on that one. <laughs> like, come on. But anyway, I do. I mean, I'm, she's right. I do look tired. But all that to say, I'm headed home gonna go on a walk um yeah i think i'm gonna end the vlog off here pretty soon too just because we're not really doing much um i think i mentioned last night but josh and i were gonna go suit shopping because he doesn't have a suit for the wedding yet but um we're either gonna do that today or tomorrow but josh has a sore throat yes anyway i'm headed home I'm gonna listen to my podcast what we said on the skinny confidential so it's a good one Hi, vlog. Oh. We were gonna go on a walk, but we made it past the driveway and it's really windy. <laughs> so, didn't do that, but now we're gonna play some video games. Lego Star Wars. As long as something works. It, it worked on the top of your thing. Yeah. I have my topic of the day. Just number one. Woo. Oh. Oh, that's you. I'm like, what is this? Wow, you blew me up! <laughs> <laughs> we're popping out to 2000's Bobbing country, out. driving. Josh, you want to tell the people what we're up to? Nope. Come on, tell the nope. people. Come on. Nope. Okay, we're, anyway. We're going to the car wash first. Okay, we're going to go. That's all we're doing. We're going to the car wash. Okay, we're actually, we're just adventuring because it's going to be great, actually. Like, every time I think the schedule's going to be shit, I remind myself that I'm going to have more time off with Josh. We're gonna have like full days basically up until yep. lacrosse starts and yep. then even after lacrosse starts we'll have like a few hours in the afternoon on practice days so like honestly things are gonna go great and what's gonna be good too is for the gym 
I can just go right when I get out of work at 4 30 in the morning and I won't need and it won't feel like I'm going at 5 in the morning because it'll be like my night I don't know I, I every time I'm like this is trash I'm like actually I'm gonna keep doing this it forever is trash. actually it's not actually bad. I like it and I'm gonna keep doing it yep. um maybe I'm like I'll keep doing it if they pay me more I actually yep. as long as it works out well for us but anyway this is not much rambling but we're gonna go take the car wash in Sanford Maybe look at some the, trim, the trim's gonna get discolored, but you know, the car needs to be clean, so it is what it is. Why was the trim getting discolored? Uh, that happened last time in West Germany. No. What trim? The black trim on the top. Your brother cleaned it when he turned oh, it. But I'm hoping everything will. We can just have my brother clean it up again. Okay. Might have to get my other cars. Gunner, I know you're not watching, but. Gunner. Uh, it's all Clean the cars. <laughs> um, anyway, but yeah, Randy, that might stop by the Can Am dealership or something, because Josh wants another one. You know, we just have, I don't start work for at least another four hours, so like we're chilling. This one's for you. He says these things as if I want one. After every time I tell you, I don't want a four wheeler. It's gonna have a seat on the back for you. Actually, it's gonna have a seat on the back for me. How many times have I told you I don't want a four wheeler? For it. We're washing the car now. Josh is embarrassed because he hit the wrong button. Now we have to go through twice. I bought, I pushed the button for the cheapest one. Mistake. Maybe the ceramic coat will come come through. Gunner, thank God. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh wow, the lighting is terrible. Alright. Much better. Hello vlog. I'm gonna prop you up right here. Oh good. Let's, let's see how this angle works real quick. <laughs> Alright. Not bad. Could be worse. Um Anyway, hello. We're back from our adventure. Josh is calling his brother. Gonna look into some numbers for getting the new four-wheeler. So while he does that, I'm gonna ride the bike. Um, I was gonna walk on the treadmill originally this morning at the gym. Then I was like, oh, we can go and walk outside. But I didn't realize how windy it was. So all that decided to get my cardio movement in for the day. So I'm just gonna ride the bike for a bit and as usual I'm gonna read my book on the bike so let's get to it let's start the book out also this light in here game changer and the new chair should be in here if not this vlog then definitely the next one so don't forget to subscribe so you can see when that comes in got a very simple dinner just avocado Caesar salad, heating up some dip in the oven again for some leftovers, and it is six o'clock, so just about an hour, half, two hours before I start work, so I'm gonna enjoy this. Look at this spread. Dip. I was about to comment on the shitty judge decision, the black one. <laughs> Got my non-beer beer, which tastes very beery. Good food, good dip. Get rid. And the blacklist. Work starts in an hour or so. It is 11, 11. Oh my god, wait. Okay, made a wish. <laughs> um, hello, I'm working. Um, feeling tired today compared to yesterday, but it's like I say I'm tired. My body's like, yo. <laughs> um, but today is good. It's, I like having more time off with Josh. Um, see how sleeping goes tomorrow. But yeah, just working along, based on the fan for a bit, and that was nice. Since she's on Hawaii time, it actually is kind of better that I'm on a different schedule because it <laughs> coincides more with that time zone. Because she's five hours back, which is great. But anyway, I am plugging along, working away, being tired. Only three and a half. Hours left of work, and no, I'm not counting, I'm just sharing. So, I'm gonna go on a break at midnight, which is funny because it's called my lunch break, but it's like I'm obviously not gonna eat lunch at midnight. <laughs> so, I just I've been reading my book, and I say I've been like I've been doing this forever, but it's literally been one day. But anyway, I'm rambling, I cannot wait to go to bed. I feel bad, Josh is not feeling well. Um, so I was like, I'm gonna go to bed, like snuggle him, make him feel better, but sorry. Right. 
do that when I go to bed later. Anyway, let's keep working. Alright, currently listening to a podcast on my way to the gym. It is 11.15, so I slept like 30 minutes later than yesterday, so I think that's an accomplishment. Um, but anyway, head to the gym now, then get a grocery shop. Um, Josh isn't feeling well, so we're not going to do the suit shopping today, so I'm probably going to end off the vlog here, just because nothing else exciting is going on. But thanks for coming with me on this journey of overnight shifts um, and spending this week with me. Uh, if you like this, make sure you like it. Don't forget to comment something. And I will see. Oh, don't forget to subscribe for all this random content. And I'll see you guys next Monday.